Hello chess friends and welcome to Azarov's chess channel and welcome to my best chess games of all time series. So in this series we see the best of the best, the best chess games that have been ever played in chess history. So today I wanted to show you a very nice uh, game played by Karel Traxler. And Karel Traxler was a Czech uh, uh, Roman Catholic priest and he didn't have the opportunity to play so much chess. Uh, he was a very good uh, theoretician in chess and he was also very good in uh, creating chess puzzles, but uh, he never competed in, in uh, serious chess. He never had uh, opportunities to play in a tournament. And uh, But uh, while creating this very good uh, chess theory, he um, has this very aggressive line it's named by him in an Italian game, so the, it's, uh, it's called this uh, Traxel counter game it, and the, against this Nike attack in the Italian game, you'll see what's all about. And the game that I wanted to show you today, it was uh, this Traxel counter game that was played for the first time and uh, this line was introduced to the world. My father loves to play this uh, Traxel counter game, but I really don't like it because it gets too tactical, m too many tactical ideas, tactical motivations these tactical lines and uh, you can really uh, be crushed very easily and in an early stage of the game that's the problem why I don't like it and uh, when you're maybe um, true uh, sort of a beginner in chess don't play it uh, I recommend you to not play it because uh, as I said, it gets too tactical, you have to calculate uh, too much in, in, in the first 10 moves and uh, of course we want to get, uh, we want to play this healthy chest to try this at least to secure our king and then uh, try to create an attack. This is uh, really a hyper, hyper aggressive line and let's see now this, uh, this Traxler counter game. So here, uh, e5. Uh, e4, pardon me, uh, e5 uh, is the response against uh, uh, e4, so we have knight on f3, knight on c6, and now bishop on c4. So the most common move uh, is of course bishop on c5, which can lead maybe to this Evans Gambit and similar idea, so we can have a, a, a normal Italian game, but now knight on f6, uh, played here by Traxler, uh, so here knight on uh, g5 attacking this f7 and uh, the again uh, the best move is here to play uh, immediately d5 but Traxler uh, in his uh, in his theory um, in his theory investigation sort of he tried to find uh, ha ha uh, tried to find the better better lines and uh, although this d5 as I said is the best move when this happens to you play please the move d5 here Traxler uh, played bishop on c5 and uh, now the game gets really really crazy because now uh, white of course knight takes on f7 and now we have bishop on f2 so the best move here is uh, for white maybe to play the move king on f1 uh, just hide sort of behind this uh, behind this bishop on f2 now mm, uh, black is forced of course to play with the queen knight takes on h8 can be played and now bishop on b6 maybe get use of this uh, very very good diagonal but uh, here after knight on c3 maybe d6 uh, because uh, queen on c5 uh, can be met with uh, uh, queen on e1 so here d6 maybe bishop on uh, f7 king on d8 uh, can be played knight uh, on d5 here king uh, queen on f8 so you see uh, maybe ha black has now a uh, more secured king because uh, uh, because his king is out of uh, this open files and open diagonals but uh, I, think, I still think that uh, white is better here of course and uh, black will have to find the best moves in order to win this game and or in order maybe at least to get at least a draw so all of these tracks of variation is often played i don't think that's that's a healthy line to play against the italian game but uh, here uh, you see the the problem about this Traxler variation. So when my uh, uh, Traxler's opponent played here, the move king on e2, and believe me or not, uh, it's already basically a losing game for White because he should have played king on f1. Now we have knight on e4. So if uh, White takes here now uh, the bishop on f2, then you have knight on e4, king on g1, and now queen on h4 with immediate checkmate threat. So it can be maybe. Uh, defended here with queen on 
queen on f1 now we have rook on f8 uh, creating this very very annoying ping uh, on the queen so here knight to c3 now we have d5 can be played really aggressive you see this is uh, hyper aggressive line this tracks uh, counter gambit bishop takes on d5 now we have <coughs> maybe knight on g5 uh, maybe knight on b5 can now be played now we have knight takes on b5 queen takes and now uh, c6 so you see uh, it leads really to complications and uh, uh, well if you if you're not familiar with the tactical game so don't do that so here after knight on d4 uh, white uh, played the move king on d3 and uh, it's now even worse because you see uh, we have here b5 with an immediate attack on the on the on the bishop so uh, here bishop on b3 was played and now knight takes on e4 so if uh, white takes here the knight on e4 then you have d5 uh, here uh, after king on d3 again we have bishop on uh, f5 so the king has to go here on uh, c3 now we can play knight on uh, east e2 so queen takes on e2 and now bishop on d4 you see uh, king on b4 now we have a5 uh, the king has to take and now we have bishop on d7 with the checkmate so again uh, you see how dangerous this to counter attack by Traxel was because white made only this uh, this um, this mistake to play the king on e2 so here after knight on e4 uh, well white took the the queen on d8 and now we have again a very very nice checkmate so here uh, knight on c5 uh, white has only one square for the king he has to move the king on c3 so we have, we have here now knight on e2 attack again with a check queen takes on e2 and now uh, bishop on d4 again uh, white has only one square for the king uh, king on b4 now we have a5 uh, now we have uh, b5 uh, bishop on a6 with a check again uh, white has only one square he has to take the pawn on a5 now we have bishop on e6 e3 uh, with the discover check so you see Traxel didn't even take the queen and uh, here king on b4 had to be played again uh, only one square for the king now knight on uh, a6 again the king has to move here on on, on the a file so now we have knight on uh, b4 we have king takes on b4 and now of c5 uh, and it's checkmate so really really this Traxler counter gambit it's uh, it's really something else it's this hyper hyper uh, aggressive line against this italian this knight attack uh, and uh, i hope you realize you should really uh, study it hard if you want to play it but my recommendation is uh, to choose another opening which uh, really secures your king at least at, at um, um at the start of the uh, at the beginning of, of of the game so but of course, nevertheless, it was really a cool game by Carl Traxler, really an aggressive uh, game and a really nice queen sacrifice in an early stage of the game. And you see this very nice checkmate with these two bishops, the pawn and the rook. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, meanwhile, you can also watch my other ch best chess games of all times. And you can also watch my chess tactics and chess puzzle series. If you want to have a better understanding about tactical play in chess, you will see there uh, all of the possible tactics motifs that can happen in a chess game and you can also subscribe to my channel thanks you for watching and chess is the best of course